Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, March 2nd. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And don't forget to join us every Sunday morning at 10 on these beautiful grounds for Drive Up Worship. My scripture today is from Psalm 66, verse 16. Come and hear all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for my soul. This is the word of the Lord. We all long to share our faith, but we're a little reluctant to witness. We shy away from the words and the actions that would make it obvious to folks that we're Christian. And we have many stories to tell, but we're sometimes a little reluctant to harangue or bend someone's ear. Well, there are many ways to witness. You see, the word of the Lord is living water and the world is thirsty. But let me give you an example. In North Carolina, one of my favorite places to visit is Triple Falls. It's just what it sounds like a series of waterfalls that are just spectacular and there's a beautiful place to view all three at once. Well, one day I was so excited to drive out there because it had been raining and raining and raining for a couple of weeks and I knew that the volume of water would be overwhelming. And I had visited Triple Falls on a day when there had been a drought. And even though it was still a beautiful sight, that water barely tri trickling over those cataracts wasn't quite as impressive. So here I was, but imagine my disappointment. That huge volume of water was not more beautiful. In fact, there was so much water coming over the falls that it looked like someone had just turned on a gigantic faucet. Now, it still had a certain attraction, but it wasn't what I expected. I think this is a little bit like the witness that we offer other people. If we listen and watch, if we are willing to love and share, we'll see. Yes, it's true. Some folks need to drink out of a fire hose. And so our witness to them should be dramatic and heartfelt and right to the point. Some folks need only a little trickle. And so we can bring them along slowly. They're the folks that you have to invite them to lunch and say you'll pay for it and then say, oh, by the way, will you go to church with me first and then we'll have lunch. <laughs> but in the middle is the golden mean. You know, for the world, they don't need a huge torrent of witness, but they need more than a trickle. So find ways to share what Jesus has meant in your life. Very few people are immune and resistant to something spoken simply, eloquently, and heartfully. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your living water. And sometimes we need the full blast, sometimes just a trickle, and most often in the middle. But Lord, we also must be aware of how the world needs to hear our witness. And we pray that you will lead us and guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.